Hi everyone, makes the bookworm here, and so is Bucky the beaver. How are you? It's been a bit since we read you a story together, so now we're going to read a new one, and I hope everyone enjoys it. I'm sure Bucky will listen too, and we'll have to ask him all about it. Isn't that right, Bucky? Sounds great. All right, so the story that we're going to read is called Little Miss Bossy and the Magic Word. Now, Bossy is like an emotion. It basically means you're angry, you push people around, and you're rude. It is part of a very popular series, which has different emotions like Miss Helpful, Miss Late, Miss Lucky, Miss Sunshine, Mr. Strong, Mr. Happy, and then there's characters like Mr. Smog, and then there's Miss Chatterbox, which she's called because she likes to talk a lot, and some of them are featured in this story. So I hope everyone sits back, relax, and enjoys it. Feel free to grab a snack and a drink if you like, and I hope everyone loves the story of Little Miss Bozzy. Now, as for what the magic word is and what it will do, we will have to stay tuned and see. Little Miss Bossy is bossy. Bossier than the bossiest person you know. She is also very rude. Nearly as rude as Mr. Snooty, which is very rude indeed. She never says please. And she never says thank you. Like the time she met Mr. Sneeze. Achoo! Sneeze, Mr. Sneeze. Stop sneezing, ordered little Miss Bossy. I can't. Achoo! Help it, replied Mr. Sneeze. Nonsense, sent little Miss Bossy. Like the time she met Little Miss Chatterbox. Good morning, said Little Miss Chatterbox. Lovely day, isn't it? Just the right weather for a walk. Talking about the weather. Be quiet, ordered Little Miss Bossy. And like the time she tripped over Mr. Small. You're too small, exclaimed Little Miss Bossy. Grow up. I can't, said Mr. Small. Then get out of my way, ordered Little Miss Bossy. Oh, dear. Poor Mr. Sneeze. Poor Little Miss Chatterbox. And poor Mr. Small. It was Mr. Small who decided that something had to be done. He went to see Little Miss Magic. And once he explained the problem, she agreed to teach Little Miss Bossy a lesson. And I think I know just how to do it, she replied. The next day, Little Miss Bossy bumped into Mr. Greedy. You're too big, she cried. Lose some weight. At the same time, Little Miss Magic, who had followed Little Miss Bossy, muttered a very magic word. And do you know what happened? Of course you don't. But we shall soon find out. Ready? Uh-oh. But you do now. Who are you calling big, laughed Mr. Greedy. You ought to take a look at yourself. Little Miss Bossy was lost for words. As soon as Mr. Greedy had gone, Little Miss Magic had muttered some more magic words, and Little Miss Bossy returned to normal. Must be strong magic words. Further down the lane, Little Miss Bossy passed Mr. Cheerful's gate. 
He was painting stripes on his house to cheer it up. That looks ridiculous, snapped Little Miss Bossy. Paint over those stripes. Little Miss Magic whispered the very magic word again. Mr. Cheerful started to chuckle. <laughs> you ought to take a look at yourself, he laughed. Uh-oh. What happened now? Oh, no. <gasps> oh, my. Little Miss Bossy did. She was covered in stripes. In her hiding place, Little Miss Magic smiled to herself. Oh, dear. Next, she met Little Miss Splendid. What a silly hat, she said. Go and put on something more sensible. Little Miss Magic uttered the word magic word again, and I'm sure you can guess what happened next. Uh-oh. Speak for yourself, said Little Miss Splendid, bursting into laughter. And for the third time that day, Little Miss Bossy was lost for words. Oh, boy. Just then, Mr. Swole came along. Having a nice day, he asked. Mind your own business, Pipsqueak, snapped Little Miss Bossy. And who are you to call me a Pipsqueak, said Mr. Small and chuckled. Haven't you learned your lesson yet? Little Miss Magic came out from behind the tree where she had been hiding. Oh, it's you, squeaked Little Miss Bossy. Turn me back to my proper size. You have to say the magic word, replied Little Miss Magic. Abracadabra, squeaked Little Miss Bossy. No, that's not the magic word I was thinking of. I'm sure you know what the magic word is but it took Little Miss Bossy a little bit longer to figure it out. Please, she said eventually. And did she learn her lesson? Well, she learned one lesson. Little Miss Bossy is still just as bossy as ever, but at least she now says, please, go to sleep. Please. The end. Well, I guess little Miss Bossy kind of learned her lesson. She learned that it's important to say please. Maybe next time she'll learn to say thank you. Please and thank you are two small words, but they are super important words and they will help you. So if you need help from a grown up or anyone else, you just say, please, make, can you help me? Instead of saying, help me and it will make a difference. Believe me. And I hope little Miss Bossy learned that too. I hope everyone enjoyed that story. And if we did, I might read more books in this series one day. You never know. We'll see what happens. I'm sure Bucky here enjoyed the story. What do you think, Bucky? Yes, he did. He had a great time. And he said, Miss Bossy sure learned her lesson. Even I learned to say please. Good for you, Bucky. Very happy to hear. And Bucky, I like your ears. He said thank you, which is another word. Anyways, everyone, thank you so much for tuning into the story. But now our time together has come to an end. But don't worry, I'll be back with another story. So make sure you stay tuned and let everyone know all about it if you enjoyed it. Until then, makes the bookworm and Bucky the Beaver say have a wonderful night and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.